starting air passes through cylinder air start valves to individual cylinders. An air manifold relief valve relieves excess pressure in the manifold. In case of jammed cylinder air start valve, the passage of flame from the cylinder to manifold is prevented by a flame trap. A bursting cap ruptures to relieve excess pressure in the event of a start airline explosion. Pressure trips block the starting of engine if main and camshaft lubricating oil pressures are low. They can also block starting if water jacket temperature is high and control air pressure is low. Block valve air blocks some movement of air start lever and prevents starting of engine. Relay valve blocks the movement of fuel lever and prevents the engine from picking up on fuels. Telegraph mechanical interlock prevents the movement of air start lever if the telegraph movement does not match the bridge order. In a two-stroke cycle engine, the same fuel cams are used for ahead and astern operations of the engine. This is accomplished by rotating the camshaft by means of a reversing servo motor. Lubricating oil pressure actuates the servo motor as shown here. To reverse the engine, the control lubricating oil is directed to the correct side of the rotary vane which is connected to the camshaft. The pressure of the oil against the vane forces the vane to move through an arc to the astern position. Running direction in the lock checks the direction of main engine rotation with the telegraph. If the direction matches, it sends a feedback to block air.